I know it doesn't matter what I look like today because everyone's going to be watching this one, who is also like, I would like to point out, very much hogging the bed. But um, greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. My name is Jax. And today I wanted to talk about how life is vivid. Um, I said this just in passing in a previous video, but I kind of want to elaborate. It's kind of a neat idea and a topic that I'm passionate about. So essentially what this means, life is vivid, is that life is full of these experiences and these conditions, whether they're good or bad, that are really impactful and really thought provoking. They shape us, they create us and give us our perception of the world. Um, something in your childhood might have happened, positive or negative, that really shapes the way that you see the world and how you interact with people. And that can that's pretty incredible. Um, it can be really awesome. It can also be super tragic. But basically what I'm trying to get at at this juncture is that our lives are really meant to be felt. They're meant to be sort of this all-consuming chaos uh, filled with good and bad that really impact us. Um, not, it's probably gonna get a little bit spiritual airy fairy up in here today, but essentially it's, it's insane that we live in the world we live in and that we just take so much for normal and so much for granted. Like, oh yeah, of course, you know, of course we have a bed in the house that we sleep on. And, um, uh, of course we have a stove that we cook on. You know, there's so many things that are just mind bogglingly complex and sophisticated and intricate in our daily lives. And it's kind of just insane when you think about any of these things. And it's kind of like, um, shower thoughts or, um, <laughs> when you're intoxicated in a specific way and you kind of, you kind of like pick up on things and you're like, wow, you know, how crazy is a mirror? Like just a, a mirror that you see out of and that you see yourself in. How crazy is that? Like that somebody came up with that idea and that concept and now we can look at ourselves in the mirror flawlessly and be able to like prune ourselves and, you know, make ourselves look all like all nice or whatever. Um, and so like you can do that with anything in this world. Like how insane is it that once once upon a world we domesticated wolves and now we have these little furball companions who are crazy and eat all our food and destroy things that they're not supposed to destroy. But like how insane is it that we have this? Like, you know, that she's here with me and she's not gonna rip my head off or, you know, open my throat. And she's just all comfy and cozy, you know? I'm sure someday she wants to attack me, but, and she does, but, but it's all cute, right? Like how insane is it that we have these little like fuzzy balls? Um, you know, to hang out with us. And so that's kind of what I mean. Like life is vivid. And the second part to this is that life can be vivid in a not fun way. Um, and it often is. A lot of the world religions teach us that life is suffering. And, you know, there are several different ways that you can deal with it and that you can constructively grow from the, the suffering and the difficulty. Um, but recently I've started to view everything that's happened in my life as character building as shaping who I am, how I act. Um, you know, I think it's made me a compassionate human being capable of sympathizing and empathizing with other people, which is important. Um, I think that's really what distinguishes us from the psychopaths. Um, <laughs> and, you know, there are so many things in life that are not comfortable and not enjoyable to experience trauma, loss of family, chronic disease, illness, all kinds of different things, but they still make life vivid and they make life just as vivid as the good stuff, as the chocolate cake and the milkshakes. And I don't know why I'm going to food, but <laughs> I haven't eaten today. That's why. Um, but there's so many things that, you know, if you, if you view life as this vivid, ridiculous, crazy, world, um, you start to see that even the bad stuff has meaning and even the bad stuff can be character building and growing and encouraging. Um, my, my first breakup, I'm not going to lie, was a lot. It was quite, 
quite a thing to experience and it taught me a lot. But I look back on it and how emotionally charged I was, how how it impacted me. And I'm, I think, wow, that that's really shaped who I am. That's really impacted me in a long, in a, in a meaningful way. And I'm glad that I got to experience that. Just like I'm glad that I had a first love, that I had this crazy relationship that has impacted me in so many ways and made me a thoughtful, caring human being. Just, just the same way that I'm glad that all of that stuff happened, that I had this experience with another person. I'm also glad that I experienced the end of it and that I got to see new relationships blossom. And, you know, I've, I've gotten to witness people falling in love and people having kids. And I've, I've gotten in my short time on this earth to, viv to, to see life's vivid nature. And I think that is so exciting and curious and interesting. And I really wouldn't change it. I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't change a whole lot. Um, there are obviously like things I'd go back and like invest in Bitcoin or whatever. Um, but like I, like I have those kind of, oh man, shoulda, coulda, woulda. But in general, my life has been this incredible experience. I hope it continues for, for a long time. Um, but I just, I don't know, maybe this is just me being like, guys, the world's amazing. Like existence is crazy. Um, and so I'm not really breaking any ground here, but I just want to be on the record for saying that I think it's really cool that we get to experience everything we get to experience and do it with people we enjoy and we like to hang out with and that kind of thing. So that's my little two cents for today. Um, Lily's as well. She's very much looking forward to her next meal, which is like her whole, her whole vivid existence revolves around that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my thought. Um, what do you think? Do you think life is vivid? Um, would you trade all of the, the bad and the good just to have like a flat line of of basic life, you know, no good, no bad, because I think you have to have both in order to appreciate them. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and listening and uh, looking at Lily because she loves that. And as always, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow.